yeah congratulations oliver I really enjoyed the film thank you so much and um yeah well one of the things i enjoyed about it were those very almost like lyrical sequences where we see um the men in the showers uh or, or playing volleyball kind of with their their shirts off and <laughs> they, they don't feel um, you know for obvious reasons but they don't feel gratuitous and they don't feel voyeuristic but I did kind of feel um, perhaps quite a sensitive queer male gaze there and I just wondered if you could how far you'd agree with that how conscious it was and what your approach was to those uh, quite as I say quite lyrical sequences I was yeah I was very concerned with um, those moments hijacking the sort of central idea of the film for me which was the, the military itself and this generation um, I, I wanted to show the nature of how closely they live together, particularly through the shower scenes, but also really actually ended up using the shower scenes as a way of punctuating their, their, their youthful, not the youthfulness, their sort of carefreeness. So the very first shower scene, it's very much like a locker room scene. They're all just being very playful, talking, chatting, very social. They're having a seemingly good time. And then the next one is totally different. They're, they're standing in these lines and they, they, they've lost their enthusiasm um and something else is now going on they're 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 distracted by a certain kind of terror um and a certain kind of fear and and and, 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 a, and a, it's all become very sobering and so the, the the physicality is is different and they almost exist in a shower as one single kind of body just like multiple bodies that are feeling and moving rhythmically and they're not really seeing each other anymore and it's not as um uh, as sexualized i guess um and then with, with you know the scenes where their shirts are off and those are really moments where we're inside of nicholas's head and i try to frame those moments not so much as as sort of objectifying the male form in a sexualized way but in a way of appreciating some sort of beauty some kind of admiration of 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 not necessarily the bodies, but I suppose the friendships and these particular people in his life and kind of connecting with himself in a way that was now different. Um, so it was a fine line, to be honest, because I really didn't want the film to, to get sort of stuck in the weeds of becoming sort of a fantasy, a queer fantasy of men in the military. <laughs> there are enough porn films that have done that already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um and how about when it came to uh, the love story, which is it's very powerful. That isn't particularly physical. There's one very tender moment, yeah. um, but it's it's more kind of psychological in some ways and a bit uh, unspoken, isn't it? So what, what was your approach to sort of showing that on screen and perhaps working with um, Kai and Ryan on it? Oh yeah, again, sort of very policed from a script writing point of view. I knew there would never be a sex scene in the film and really kind of decreed that um, and, and wanted the greatest, the sort of most intimate moment between them to be so fraught with fear and uncertainty and for that to be the most simple gesture being a sort of just a very much a kiss, not even like a, a real kiss, it's like a second peck on the lips, but it needed, to, I really wanted us to arrive at that moment with a real sense of understanding of what this means and, and uh, how much of a transgression this is in this context. Um, so that it really does unlock for Nicholas, you know, just a million things and his mind is suddenly a, a flutter and it's all because of a kiss. I mean, that's ultimately the most sexual moment in this film is a kiss on the lips. And it, and I want, it was the, the challenge of making a kiss be the most erotic thing ever. Yes, well, you, ach you achieved that and that is quite a challenge, especially nowadays when we're kind of bombarded with, um, you know, images of yeah. um, nudity you know, and, and sex and yeah, so, um, but it, you know it, we were very much in with those characters at, at that time in that situation and um, I also really like the flashback uh, sequences which I believe is something that um, wasn't in the book but something you added to the screenplay and I just wondered why you wanted to give us that additional insight into um, his childhood Nicholas's childhood that experience. I always wanted to have a scene in the film that was kind of like the film itself like the, the title of the film is in my mind kind of related to that scene it's, it's the moment that the word is weaponized against him, a word that he doesn't really know, but you can kind of sense in that flashback that that word is now going to linger, it's going to change him. This is the moment that, which I think every gay kid has experienced, the moment that you're identified uh, in a way that you're not ready to be identified. And so the first reaction is to retreat yourself and to diminish yourself. And I wanted to 
put on screen that moment that I know so well where you where where uh, yeah where that happens because I think it, it's a universal experience for for for, for the uh, for the queer community and so that was kind of the hope of that scene was to to be that moment where 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 the, where the the shame is planted. And, and just finally, um, I know the film came out, I think around a year ago now in South Africa, and I just wondered what um, the reaction has been to it there, what kind of conversations it's started as far as you've um, heard about yourself. Um, how's the reaction? The reaction was people were grateful because it's, it opened and then we went into lockdowns. There was just a desire to watch movies. And so a lot of people watched this movie at home, actually, because it immediately was made, was made available to download. So I think it's... It, I would say the reaction was very positive overall. Um, it definitely is the kind of work that, depending on who you are, you're going to have a different interaction with this film. If you're a gay man who lived through that, you're going to have a very affirming experience of the film. If you're a younger gay man, it's sort of interesting bit of gay history in a way. And also kind of, again, reminder of the liberties and freedoms that we have today. And if you were a heterosexual couple or person and you went to the military, it's a very different movie. So it's an interesting film that way. It, it, it operates on different levels for different for different audience members. Well, Oliver, thanks very much. Great chatting to you about it. Congratulations again on the film. Thanks. Bye. bye. <laughs>